Hey guys, I'm Carly. I'm Kendra. I'm Kara. And we're here with some fun facts of the week. Did you know cows have four hearts? What? Wow. No, no. Did you know wow. that worms have six hearts and if you put them in a fire, you can watch them explode one by one? <laughs> and a single cloud weighs more than a million pounds. Nuh-uh. That's well, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> that's interesting. Well, that's us with your fun facts of the week. I'm Will. I'm Parker. We're here on the song of the week, and this song of the week is uh, Let It Go from Frozen. It's really good song. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Okay, that's the song of the week. So yeah, go get on the sales on iTunes. That's the song of the week. Hey guys, it's Dakota of the Week here with Sydney and Carly. And this week's quote is, When life gives you lemons, make grape juice and watch as the world is a maze. So, do things in the way that you feel is right, not the way anybody else feels. Hey guys, it's Ella and Luke, and we're here with your 8th grade student of the week, Jacob Gregory. So, did you make the baseball team? Yes. Uh, how do you think your season's going to go with this team? Halfway decent. <laughs> um, so, who's your favorite baseball team? The St. Louis Cardinals. Thank you. I'm Luke and she's Lily and we're here with the Bible verse of the week. This week's Bible verse is God will meet all your needs, Philippians 4 9. Hey guys, it's Megan and Lily here with Miss Seegers. So what's your favorite TV show? I don't really have a favorite TV show, but I like to watch HGTV, Fixer Upper, House Hunters, stuff like that. And what college did you go to? I did my undergraduate at Western Kentucky University and then I got my master's at Oakland City in Indiana. So, what's your favorite genre for books to read? I like realistic fiction and historical fiction um, because it sounds like it could really happen, and that's what my kiddos read. So that's what you know. That's what I like the best too. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm here with apps of the week. First, we have Spotify, which is a music player. Second, we have Wish, where you can buy things for a cheap price. And last app is. Pinterest, where you can get creative ideas and many more. That's all the apps for this week. I'll see you next week. Back again with cringy jokes. I want to tell you a joke about pizza, but it's a little cheesy. My dad does not trust trees. You want to know why? Every time I go up to one, he tells me that they're really shady. I have no idea why. That's it for this week on Cringy Jokes. Okay, today we got Mr. Sturgeon, and we're going to talk about things about band that are going on. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on in the spring uh, with all the, the bands here. Um, actually, this afternoon we're starting the first big thing, which is a group called Wind Ensemble, and that's sort of the top uh, group here. It's We've picked some of the 7th graders, 8th graders, put that together, and so that's going to be a really exciting group. We're going to take that group and perform uh, in Bowling Green in April. Um, and eventually take that group to play at things like our state conferences in Louisville and, and those sort of, sorts of things. Um, Mondays we've got percussion ensemble going. Later in the spring we're going to start doing a jazz band here. Um, and then one of the big things for everybody in the bands right now, um, marching band is coming up and so that's sort of the big thing that's on our table right now. So it's a really exciting thing with a lot of stuff coming down over the next couple of months as we get ready for the end of the spring and even into next school year. So what would you say to someone who would do marching band? I mean, I would, I would encourage everybody that's in band right now to, to, to do marching band. Um, of my high school experience, and even on through college, where I got the most enjoyment out of it was marching band. Um, just because you get to spend so much time with people. Um, and there's a lot of extra traveling and a lot of trips. And it's just a, a really fun thing to be part of. So if you guys are, haven't done band yet and you want to do it, it's really fun. And a lot of people, I've been called stupid for being a band and a nerd, but it's not. Okay, Don't feel embarrassed for playing an instrument. I'm the only girl tuba, and let me tell you, it is awesome whenever Sturgeon or Ro tell me I play better than all the guys. It really is. It does feel good to be first trumpet of like 16 other people, so that's it. Thank you, Mr. Sturgeon. Thanks, Hi, I'm Kendra. I'm Kara. This is your weekly announcements. The Family Wellness Center is having a middle school basketball league on March 6th through March 30th. Go to the office for more information. Um, the Lost and Found is overflowing and they will send out all the clothes and stuff that are in it on the end of the month. So 
So yeah, it's your weekly announcement spot. Hey guys, it's Ella and Heaven, and we're here with this week's top trends. Moccasins. You can wear them with socks, without socks. They're really comfy, and they're from an Indian tribe. Ladies, this is not what you're supposed to do when you're in the bathroom. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Megan and Ella here with your birthdays. So on Monday, it was Brian Westerfield's birthday. And on Tuesday, it was Haley Staples and Malia Rock's birthday. And Jordan Fulton's birthday was on Wednesday. And Thursday was Jaden Sorrells and Taylor Lindsay. And today's birthdays are Landon Swan and Alexis Dunn. Happy birthday to y'all. Hi, I'm Lily. This is Luke, and we're back with your joke of the week, and we would like to dedicate this week's to Mr. Nick. So why did Waldo go to therapy? Not for sure. To find himself. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> I'm Sydney. And I'm Carly. And we're here with some school tips to get you through school. So the first tip is never have zeros in your grade book because um, they will bring your grade down a lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> so your next tip is always walk on the right side of the hall because it can get really crowded. And your teachers will get on to you. So the next tip is... Always finish your work in class because you definitely don't want to take it all home for homework. Right. And the last tip is use your locker because your backpack will get really heavy and you may have back problems in the future. So, yeah, that's it. Those are your tips for the week. Lily, my backpack's too small. Now I have to carry all my stuff around. I mean, day. just use your locker. Good idea. And it's the weather. So the weather for today is the high is 67 and the low is 55. And for tomorrow, the high is 70 and the low is 45. On Sunday, the high is supposed to be 46 and the low is 38. On Monday, the high is 62 and the low is 37. So that's, that's your weather. Hi, I'm Heaven. I'm here with Brooklyn. My name is Cole Piper. And we're here with the Book of the Week. Book of the Week. Tammy, today and birthday. Thank you. Thanks. One of those medals, unfortunately, did not go to Olympic figure skater Nathan Chen. Hi guys, it's Stay Clean with Kara, and I'm here with Carly and Marie, and we are going to be talking about the drug but so what does it do to you over time? Well, meth makes you forget who you are and it kind of drives you crazy. And as you can see, she changed over the years. Yeah. Um, how has she changed? Um, her hair and her facial structures have changed. So basically it makes you go crazy. Um, so don't do meth, kids, and stay in school. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Sydney. I'm Parker. And we're here with Wally Soto, and she's our Artwork of the Week winner. So what did you make? I made a rose. Uh, the middle of it is cardboard, and then this is um, wrapping paper. It's very pretty. It is really pretty. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, how long did it take you to make it? It took me uh, two weekends to make it. Wow. Because I didn't feel like working on it over the week. <laughs> Well, it looks really good, and good job on it. Thank it's you. Cool. This is how we're going to be getting to school if this rain doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> 